right, part three, episode two. Uh, Simon here, Vinny there. We're back. Uh, hopefully you're back. Um, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> uh, well, let's go into our other segment, uh, the commercial review, because as I've said, uh, I'm a filmmaker. I don't know if I said it enough on the other one. I said it like five times, but uh, uh, and, and I feel qualified to review commercials, so... And I was just talking with any here, uh, more more so than reviewing commercials, it's it's marketing campaigns in general, because uh, specific commercials kind of relies a lot on you seeing that specific commercial. Whereas if I do a general one, you know, you you can you've probably seen you know any Skittles commercial versus the one Skittles commercial, you know. Yeah, it's kind of the climate of like what people are, you know, what marketers and advertisers are mm-hmm. doing right now. Right. Uh, and Vinny, you've worked in advertising, so you too get a, you you have a opinion on this that's relevant, yeah, in some sense. Uh, probably more so than me because I haven't actually you know had the the professional experience you have. See, I think your opinion's better though because you're the user, <laughs> you're the end user, you're the one watching these commercials. So. <laughs> well, I'm also a maker. You know, I'm not like completely. Dim- <laughs> I'm not out of the industry entirely. You know, I just haven't you know gotten to to like a a full level yet you know yeah i mean i haven't done that much with with commercials though so i mean yeah well you were saying earlier you like sit in boardrooms and get to decide like what 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 did the young people think and then you get to sit there and just say like oh this and (laughs) yeah i mean i've done that a couple times depending on various jobs but uh but real quick go through what 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 was your job for a while let's see i was uh the most recently i was a visual designer yeah there's a lot of there's always a lot of discussion of uh oh we don't like these colors it really comes down to really uh arbitrary things i don't <laughs> think these things necessarily matter to once you get down to the person that's actually trying to use the website right okay <laughs> uh so uh the commercial this week i'm going to talk about is uh you see i already forgot it which one is it <laughs> it's one of the insurance companies uh all, all car insurance companies they're just they really oversaturate their advertising markets because it's, you know, I feel like as as a consumer of this, it's pretty arbitrary. <laughs> and, you know, yeah. they, they seem to know that. So it's literally just like, let's put on our commercial all the time so that whoever is, you know, watching this and thinks, oh, I need to sign up for insurance. They go to whatever the commercial they've seen most recently. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like insurance companies' commercials because it's like they'll have, like, the goofy one, the serious one, and, like, the heartfelt one. Like, mm-hmm. they're trying to, like... Get a bunch of different audiences, right. or, you know. They're, they're all pretty goofy, everyone. except uh, Allstate. Allstate's just got that, like, you know, that, you know, guy with the bass voice, the the, yeah. the black guy there. I've, just, I've like, seen him in a couple TV shows, like playing General. I and think stuff. he might have did the voice of uh, the, the, the lead on Gargoyles. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know for sure. <laughs> I heard that uh, Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince did Shredder on Ninja Turtles. I believe it. <laughs> Uh, there's some weird, some weird people in that Ninja Turtles cartoon. Don't ask me why I know that, but there's <laughs> there's a lot of uh, somebody who I know from the Venture Brothers, who which I really like, is on that, and uh, a lot of people who do anime, because there's like a really like close knit group of people who do like the overdubs for like Dragon Ball Z or whatever Sailor Moon River. Yeah, that that's <laughs> that's old anime, but <laughs> whatever whatever <laughs> new anime there is out there now, that there, there's a really uh, tight knit group of people who do that, and one of those guys I know is on. Might be the guy who did Goku is on Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I know that uh, the dude that was the camp counselor on Salute Your Shorts. What, Ugg? Yeah, Ugg. All he does now <laughs> is anime overdubs. Really? Really. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, let's get into this. Uh, which which insurance company was it again? The uh, You're talking about uh, The Good Neighbor. <laughs> like State a good Farm. neighbor, State Farm is there. Yeah. Where they And their commercials, the idea is you say the, the, lo- the slogan... And just uh, a claims adjuster just pops up, <laughs> just magically. And, you know, it's clearly the idea is that it's so convenient that you can just summon them with, you know, whatever magic power, and they're there to help you. Yeah. I don't I don't really buy into it. I mean, I don't Oh, of think, course. It's yeah, not that easy. You the, know? Like, customer service <laughs> isn't that easy. However, I do know some people with State Farm, and they did get birthday cards from State Farm. So that's kind of... <laughs> there you go. That's nice, I guess, but they're not going to hook you up with a hot tub, and that's I mean, my big beef. <laughs> I got a birthday card from my company. That doesn't mean anything. Oh, well, I didn't get one from mine. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. I don't, I don't know who I have, though. All right. Well, I worked at a gas station chain, but, you know. <laughs> 
I'm not going to go into what my personal job is because it's not as good as I've been boasting about. <laughs> yeah, no, I work in the film industry totally. And then, you know, just oh, I work at a gas station in real life, you know? <laughs> yeah. I consider, I consider you to be a part of the film industry because you do have an IMDb page. There you go. Yeah. And uh, bigger than a few other people's who we went to high school with. Yeah. <laughs> That's important to me. <laughs> Although I think Troy Manos has one because he appeared next to a Baldwin brother. In some yeah, movie. it was well, not not Alec, but like Sean, I think. Sean yeah, Baldwin. It, was, it was like a made for TV movie. Or right. Something. Because we went to high school with Troy Manos, whose uncle was Guy Manos, who directed a made for TBS movie. Or no, it was made for USA movie that starred one of the other, the lesser Baldwins. <laughs> and he was visiting his uncle and got a cameo part <laughs> in this movie. That was basically uh, oh, Fast and the Furious, but with, instead of car racing, parachuting. <laughs> yeah, I think he said something like, look, Dad, a helicopter, or something like that. I'm not really no, sure. No, I'm that's shocking that I still know this, but it was... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Joe, Joe, he's on the roof. Come help! And then they went, and the, the the bald one went over and went, and he's you know the guy that was stuck on the roof turned out to be their GI Joe toy. <laughs> uh, anyway, he's uh, uh, like your neighbor State Farm is there. Those commercials. Uh, I don't know who the demographic is because you always see those commercials. You always see like young, hip, you know, urban people. You know, like the guys with the buffalo. Have you seen the one with the buffalo? A buffalo? Or like what a buffalo is attacking their car and they're yeah. like, oh, yeah. And they're in like, you know, puffy puffy vests and, and like, you know, sideways uh, cocked, you know, baseball caps and stuff like that. Like really kind of urban, but like outdated urban look. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, you know, the the people in it are from like my our age, you know, me and Vinny's age, the, the mid 20s. Uh, people who are probably just starting to like. You know, if their parents have paid for their car insurance, they're finally on their own. They need to get their own car insurance kind of thing. Those are the people you see in it. Uh, and, and I guess the one the one reference I'm going to make is there's a commercial with John C. McGinley, Dr. Cox from Scrubs, who's playing the, the father of somebody who just got home from college. The kid, is, the kid is just home from college, and his parents walk in, and they're like... Uh, Oh, we know, we know it's hard for you right now or whatever. And the guy's like, oh, I don't, I don't know what you're saying. You know, and he says the slogan and the girl pops up and she's like, oh, they're kicking you out. And then the John C. McGinley and the wife are, you know, they're like, oh man, what can we change his room into? And they change his room into like, you know, oh, it could be a dojo. And then, you know, he, he, it turns into a dojo with the magic power of State Farm. And, uh, and then she's like, oh, it could be a shoe closet. And it turns into a shoe, shoe closet. That I don't get because uh, you know it seems like that's more the the uh, the goal or the 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 kind of the idealism of that commercial is that like oh if you get this if you get this company then you can magically get whatever you want but what you want in this commercial's portrayal is like you know a room that you get to do whatever you want with yeah. which is really uh, like a forty something you know dream <laughs> yeah so. That is kind of confusing. Plus, like, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of weird having having like a dojo. Like, I mean, it's weird. <laughs> that's, to, that's the joke. It's though. weird I mean, to the, have. The I mean, that's the joke. But I'm saying, like, how's State Farm going to help you with getting a dojo? <laughs> they can't. Well, uh, they could save you so much money that you can get a dojo. I guess I don't know. Uh, but but what they're, what they're overlooking in that commercial specifically, that specific commercial, is that there there's just this is about two parents being really cruel and kicking out their son yeah. <laughs> and just being like you know you screw everything that you've grown up with we want a dojo <laughs> <laughs> i think they end up settling on a sauna and they hit a sauna and they start making out in front of the kid and the kid's like oh they left right that's kind of uh, and then there's the state or the state farm nationwide I keep state, forgetting. state farm <laughs> the state farm agent's like i'll help you pack and then they they close on that and show the logo <laughs> uh so yeah, I don't know what the demographic is. Uh, seems like it should be young people with the comedy and everything. Like that it's not the same. Well, it's it's trying to be younger comedy, but as a younger person, I can say it's not very effective. I don't think those commercials are very hilarious. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's not like the Old Spice commercials where I think they're funny. And if I didn't use Old Spice, I would switch to Old Spice because <laughs> that shit's awesome. What about like the Geico <laughs> Caveman commercials? Would that make you? Uh, if you were in the market for car insurance, the the Geico Caveman commercials are just really about like people who are pissed off at diversity. 
they're like, oh, here's this, you know, you can't say anything because, you know, diversity says that, you know, PC is is all. And if you if you offend anybody, then it's wrong. And that's what the joke is. It's like, oh, I get to offend caveman because I can't offend black people. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the Geico caveman, which they don't use anymore, but yeah. after after its its short stint on broadcast cable. Yeah, right? a little TV show, right? It was on like ABC or something. It was on network, t- network TV. Uh, after that, they really haven't used it too much, uh, but... But that's definitely for old people who just are mad that it's not the 60s and they can't offend anybody they want. <laughs> um, so I don't know. That's that's my my rant on media for this week or my yeah. rant on advertising this week. So uh, do we have time? Uh, I don't think we have time for these next two things. Oh, so. my God. I took up too much time. Yeah. <laughs> It's awful. Uh, well, maybe we'll just do four segments. Yeah, we should just, we'll just bleed over here. We'll just, you this know. seems like a pretty recurring thing, then. Well, we should gonna... stick with four, maybe. Maybe we'll stick with four, uh, but we'll try for three every time so that we don't go to four. So when we mess up and go to four, it's not like we're trying for four and we mess up and go to five. <laughs> yeah. Um, how much time do we have left? We have like about three minutes. No, two minutes because it's at like 42. Wait, what? <laughs> like 42 seconds. So it's right, 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 right. Like okay. Um, <clears throat> well, then I guess I'll try out this new segment I was just telling Vinny about. It's not even on our agenda right now because we have an agenda in front of us. And I was just telling him, hey, wouldn't it be funny if – and uh, I'm going to do this. This is the call out of the week. <laughs> uh, and every week what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out somebody very specific, uh, one of my friends, uh, <laughs> and – if you don't leave a comment, I'm going to defriend you on Facebook. <laughs> uh, so that's my incentive to make all my friends listen to this. Because <laughs> apparently, just having this isn't enough, you know? Yeah. You, know, just, so, you so can't just support it? everything I do all the time. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> so, who is it this week? Oh, uh, let me think here for a second. I called that Brandon Limer last week, who. I didn't actually call him out. Yeah, but I, I said unofficial. it was all on him. It was it was a fake one, but that that's the the precursor to this. So I can't call up Brandon Limer. Um, so let me think here. Who was good? Somebody somebody I know closely, or somebody I I just kind of relatively know. You you should know him kind of closely because I mean someone someone you only kind of know. They're not going to really care if you do friends. Right. Not like my brother or my girlfriend because they're gonna listen no matter what. Yeah, gotta be a little outside of that. A little outside of that. How about? Um, Brandon Schneider. <laughs> Go with the Brandon here. Is that different than Brandon Limer? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. It's t- <laughs> I mean, I thought you maybe made it up real quick. <laughs> no, Brandon Schneider is a person who I, I don't. We're not that close, but we're we're close enough that maybe he's listening to these. Um, you know what? Never mind. I'm not that close with Brandon Schneider. <laughs> he should listen to this just to hear how I'm insulting him and saying we're not friends. Uh, but uh, let me think. So who who? I, clearly, I'm not prepared for this. Um, do you have anybody you want to call out? Uh, not really. I mean, I feel like I feel like you had more people listen to this right. than I did. Yeah, I didn't really get a lot. I feel like a lot of my friends did not listen to this, <laughs> so they're kind of dicks, maybe. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I didn't promote it enough. You don't want to punish them enough, like I did. Yeah, I don't want to punish them yet. Maybe next episode I'll punish them. <laughs> Because uh, maybe it's kind of around Christmas. I was kind of busy. I wasn't really right. You, were, this you didn't have like punishment in your heart at Christmas. <laughs> yeah, but next episode. All right. So this this episode, I, I got to figure it out. Greg Mullen, uh, my old roommate, Greg Mullen. If you are listening to this, leave a comment that tells me you're listening to this, or you will be defriended on Facebook. <laughs> But anyways, uh, people need to start clicking this button to go to the next one because we're uh, almost out of time. I always do this. You you put the button I'm up. I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to do the thing with the button. Click the button now, probably a little earlier. I don't know. But <laughs> Just snap the, your fingers. Make this is the up. end. This is the end. All right, now the button's up. Or yeah. did, where was the snap the end? We can the cut snap this off. The snap is kind of the end. But oh, okay, I can keep going it. a little bit. Yeah, we're cool. <laughs> this is it. All right.